in my toy corner. I'm taking a look here at the Ghostbusters Hasbro Plasma Series Egon Spinkler figure. He is part of the Plasma Series that was released this year after Hasbro got the license for that, of course. Each figure comes with its own little uh, individual back card going to the files or stats or review of the character themselves, which I like that they individualized those. That was a great feature. I'm going to open them up here, cut a couple of pieces of tape off the back. That's all they had for each of these figures. The, this figure line is very flexible, uh, great posability. They did some awesome detail. Egon's 3D print uh, is, is on point. His glasses just pop out of the figure. All of them have some great detail and posability. A, a lot of the figures are like the Marvel Legends lines. So uh, opening them up here, we've got the PKE meter. His signature uh, uh, device there. We've got the Proton Pack, and of course that BAF piece, which if you collect all six, you can build that Vince Clortho Terror Dog. So that was a really nice addition to the to the set. The figures don't have any plastic. Thank you, Hasbro. No plastic clips, no twisty ties. Always much appreciated when you can quickly access and break out your new toy. I'm going to put the Proton Pack on here. It's got a little clip on the side. Um, all four of the uh, Ghostbusters, if you just raise that one arm and slap that shoulder piece uh, up between the head and the one arm, it goes on pretty easy. There is a peg on the back of the proton pack that goes into a hole in the uh, Egon's back. And then uh, the strap at the bottom corner of the proton pack gets attached to another peg, uh, a little clip that's on the side there. Now, I did notice that uh, the only one I had problems with was Ray. Ray's uh, mold was made a little bigger than the other figures, so he was uh, a little difficult getting him opened up or uh, getting him strapped all together without stretching that plastic. But and the other thing that I noticed was, and you're going to see me do it here in a second, is that that strap does come loose sometimes. It pops out, so you got to use. I almost use my fingernail to get that peg right in so that he stayed secure, so that the proton pack shoulder strap did not pop back out. Something to keep in mind when you get them opened up. Another thing I forgot to mention on the other ones is there's a there's a clip that uh, a little spot for the wand for the proton pack to hang on so that it can clip on without him having to carry it around. That was a, a nice feature, obviously. It makes it look very authentic, and I forgot to mention that on the other figures. I apologize. So once you get everything all set up with his proton pack, we can give him the uh, PKE meter. He did have a little trouble standing up right out of the pack. Most of these figures did. The joints are really stiff. You're going to have to move them around, but the, like I said, the posability is there. The leg joints, the knee joints, the waist joints, eventually you'll get it figured out, but uh, uh, through some effort, so just be aware of that. Um, here's a little closer look at that PKE meter. A lot of detail. They did a great job on that. PKE meter fits really nicely in the hand. Uh, I did notice, though, that the wands uh, don't want to go into the second hand. They can go into the firing hand or whatever you want to call it. Uh, but that second hand, if you're trying to do that action pose, it's really difficult to do anything other than just resting it on that hand for me. So there he is in his full pose, kind of checking out the, the scopes of the meter there. Um, the meter attaches to a hole on the belt with a little peg that's on the back of the meter. Another nice nice little detail added by Hasbro. I, I love the, the attention to all the accessories there that they, that they put in with these. So here he is. We've got a photo shoot coming up um, right after this. I'm going to show you. Real quick, that uh, BAF piece, though. And then here's the photo shoot. So I hope you enjoyed. I'm going to get the rest of them done uh, hopefully this week. We'll get them opened up and sh uh, photoed for you so you can take a look at it and uh, see what you think. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it. And make sure you check out my other videos. Like, subscribe, all that jazz. Thanks a lot.